Hi, it's Karen from Snowball to Pink. Um, I'm really pleased that you would join me today. Uh, today I thought we would do some loose florals, but with a twist. Uh, we're going to splatter. I'm not going to explain it too much. I'll just go into the demo and, and you can see. Uh, today I'm going to be using my trusty size 4 brush, clean water and um, I'm going to use Burnt Sienna. Now load the brush up quite nice and watery and we're just going to splatter. Go back into your water and splatter again. You want some really nice big globules of, of watery watercolour so don't be afraid to go in and and just get these big lovely juicy um, splatters. Clean your brush off and then we're going to go into um, we're going to go into cadmium orange and we're going to splatter that as well. Nice big splatters. Uh, I should have covered that one over because we're going to be using something on that in the we've done this one um so again nice big splatters and rinse our brush off now what we're going to do is we're just going to go into where we've splattered our our loop very very diluted paint and we're just going to move it around not really worrying too much just making loose flowery shapes um the tops of petals and things we're we're given the suggestion of petals flowers um and there we go like that rinse our brush off now i'm going into sap green and we're just going to just, just drag down again, nice and watery, just using the tip of our brush. Just going down like that. Nice and loose, we're not worrying about crossing over and uh, our stems and bleeding into um, other colours. We're just going nice and loose. If you want to go back in, make a stronger colour, you can. Like that. Okay. Now, with a creamier, a creamier um, consistency of paint, I'm just going to go in and just slightly add some little flicky, little flicky things there. Again, I'm gonna load my brush up creamier paint this time. Um, and we're going to give the suggestion of buds. So we just get just an oval shape and then Maybe one here. And then just put another stem in. Um, we could put one here. You can put as uh, many buds in or as not as you like. Now that's the, that's the first one. I'm going to rinse my brush off and on this one I'm going to use this the more warmer colors so we're going in with um, a nice soft nice soft uh, lilac or purple don't forget load your brush up and just drop it on I've got a little hair there 
and then just pick up your paint and then lots of water and then we just drop it in okay again there you can see we've got we've got some nice splatters going on there again i've cleaned my brush off and i'm just going to move the paint to give a suggestion of petals and buds and just all things spring-like really this is a lovely free loose very loose way of of just getting nice and relaxed we're not being precious at all about this we're just having fun we're just moving the paint around and we're being spontaneous we're seeing what what we've splattered and then we're just going with it and um, i think this will i think you'll be pleased with the effect this will give a nice nice effect now you can put as many or as little in as you want that's lovely again i'm going to rinse my brush off um i'm going to i'm going to use forest green load my brush up nice and creamy and we're just using the, the tip of our brush and just go up and straight down we're just nice nice strong clear decisive movements you can't go wrong there are no wrongs we can just go back into our paint and then as you can see i'm just working my way down and there we've got some more loose now on this one i think we'll change our format up we're not going to put the buds in on this one what we're going to do is we're going to put some lavender now lavender has two hues to it it looks very lavender purpley but it also leans to blue so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our cobalt and we're going to pick a little bit up of our purple and we're going to position we we'll put one here so it's just putting little just the tip of a brush just little tips and we're just moving our way, our way down. And as you can see, it's a very light movement. We're just dropping that in there. We can put one in here, just the tip. Nice little, almost strokes of your brush. Now, if they blend in together, don't worry about that. That's, that's absolutely fine. And if you want to put another little, another little one here, that's more, just need a little bit of more blue in there. And we're just dropping. Don't have to be precious about this. Doesn't have to be regimented. It's nice and free and you can, drop some more if you want a stronger colour you can drop more colour in as well after and it's just like almost like tapping tapping um movements now i'm going to go into my azura blue again and just going to drop in a stronger colour because i i want it to have a more of a a watery diffused look a soft a soft look so we're getting going back into our our paint and we've into my zero blue and i'm just dropping a little bit more in there just to change the value of the color of the paint and we 
drop us drop a little bit in there like so and a little bit more up on this one too There you go, just, just gently dab. I'm just going to put a little bit more of Azura Blue in there to contrast a little bit more. Well, that was quite blue. But we're going to go with that. That doesn't matter. We'll drop a bit more in there. You can keep adding to your lilacs, um, sorry, your lavenders to, to make them taller or, or longer or wider. You just have a step back and, and, and look. So now I'm going to go into uh, Sage Green. And I'm just going to drop another stem in. And again here. I'm just going to drop another one in there. And one in, in there. Okay. Now I'm just going to drop a little bit of green in there just to suggest that it's growing on a stem um, I don't mind if it bleeds up into the uh, into the other blooms that we've got I think that's quite quite a nice effect it adds to its softness and uh, there you have it there's um there's a quick splattered free loose floral nice spring flowers make a lovely easter card or if you want to put that on if you want to put some leaves on to your uh, lavender they grow with little with little thin leaves don't they so you can just use the tip of your brush and just flick just flick up and uh, that changes it that changes it up quite a bit now i've tape the corners off because I wanted to keep the corners um, that the outside of the uh, of the paintings clean so normally we would wet but uh, um, wait and to for the pack for the painting to dry but I'm just going to take this off so I can show you what it what it looks like Very satisfying um, pulling this off, really nice. Oh, I've caught my watercolour paper there a bit, but that's not a problem. I'll, I'll stick that down um, with a little bit of glue. Oops, and I'll just pull this off. And washi tapes very sticky very sticky indeed and there's another bit just just stick that down with some water just for the so just move that round. So there we have it. We have our two spring splatter florals. I hope you like them and it's fun and quick and easy to do. So please give it a go. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also leave me a comment and tell me how you're getting on with your watercolour painting your watercolour journey. I look forward to hearing from you. Anyway, take care. See you soon. Bye.